working with SSC North America on a project and I had the brief opportunity to hop in the passenger seat with Jared Shelby and experience their car, the SSC Tuatara. It's the first American hypercar, over 1,700 horsepower, and guys, it is incredible. This is a car that only a handful of people have got the opportunity to experience it so far. I'm super excited about it. I think that you guys should be excited about it because this is something that is just pure raw horsepower and it is American horsepower of all things and I'm so so excited that I had the opportunity to experience that for you guys so without wasting any more time let's get into the footage <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm in the car. I'm in the Tuatara with Jared Shelby. There hasn't been a lot of people in this car so far, right? No. I mean, a dozen people, you'd say? Yeah, you're one of the lucky few. Yes, yes. Okay, so what you're going to show me is you're going to give me a little little bit of experience, right? Yeah, let's just buzz it up a little bit. Give you a little uh, oh experience as supposed. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's, let's, see, what, let's see what you got. This is probably the first time you guys are able to actually hear me talk because the engine is just such a, a beast and it roars and the, the experience and everything that this, this car offers. Jared, I, I'm, I'm amazed at what, what you've created. I, 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 like I really to hear am. That. I really am. So I, I know we, I haven't been able to touch on it yet, but 1750 horsepower with E85, Correct. 91, it's 1350, Correct. 1350 ish. Um, at 1,750 horsepower, that is 1.3 megawatts. Your power to weight ratio on this thing is just, there's no other like it. And I, I'm, I'm so impressed. I'm excited to be, be here and be a part of this process of where you're going next. I just, I, 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 I'm, I'm truly terrified of how it would feel beyond, beyond that, that range. That? It's, it's just... It's like it's like jumping out of an airplane the first time, but blindfolded in a sense. Like you just you don't know what to expect, and it just hits you out of nowhere like a bullet. It's very linear power, and the response I just heard from you is exactly why we do this. Yeah, this is you know it, it is a package that puts so much power to the ground, and we're able to do this with traction. Yeah, when you would think that there's no way a tire can hang. It. I felt terrified. I, I felt scared to death, and and it, and it had nothing to do with the safety of the car. I, it, it didn't feel like a Viper ACR when you turn the traction control off and everything is like squirrely and all over the place. It wasn't that type of fear. It was the fear of going to speed and feeling a sensation that I haven't felt before. So it was new and uncomfortable, and I didn't know how to. I didn't know how to feel, and I think my my reaction was exactly that. It, it, to me, this is not a car that feels unpredictable. It, it, at 1,750 horsepower, we're able to, through traction control and the design assembly that we have here that transfers weight to those back tires under full torque and full boost, 
as you just experienced, this shoots straight forward. So you do not feel like you're out of control. You just feel a sensation like, I'm not sure my body can handle these G-forces. Yeah. And it, like I said, I drive these cars so often and it still gets me sometime and disorients you just a little bit. So I love to get somebody new in the car that's not experienced this yet. And, and I love that reaction. Yeah. And everybody's is a little bit different, but it's it's almost more than you can handle. And you were saying the, the car is not all wheel drive. It's, no. it's rear wheel drive. Exactly. So that, you know, that's one of the, we decided early on this was going to be a two wheel drive car. I love that challenge. I love the design challenge. How do we take a two wheel drive car and give it the type of traction to put down 1,750 horsepower like an all wheel drive car? Oh my God. And then, you know, you, you can tell me, did we succeed at that? I think you definitely did it. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah.